today I prepared one of my mentor's favorite wines and I hid it among very good other wines. I've never tasted this wine with Peter before, but he told me he loved it. We'll see if he can find what he likes or not. Today, today, we are going to talk about wines, quality and personal preference. I've always felt this, that our job is to bring quality mm -hmm. and not to tell our viewers what to drink. If they are going to drink things like a genre that we don't particularly like, at least we provide them with best of genre, uh -huh. even if it's not our personal preference. I normally tell the people, I do care whether you like the wine or not, mm -hmm. but it's the last thing I care about. Yeah. So we are going to talk about that last thing a little <laughs> bit too. <laughs> uh, okay. So we are going to taste the four wines, four red wines today. Four red wines. Jay knows my personal preference, starting with I don't like red wine. <laughs> I love red wine. Uh -huh. Just right now, I love white wine just a little bit more. <laughs> That's the reason why I prepare lots of red wine. Yeah. So we are going to taste the four red wines. All right. And then let's talk about their quality first. Absolutely. Yeah. And then our personal preferences. Okay. So once the tasting is over, please select one best quality wine. Okay. And one your most favorite wine. That's a very important point. That very often the wine you most want to drink is not necessarily the best wine. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can give an example of that. I'm not a great fan of Amarone. I find Amarone to be very big. I really appreciate them, but I don't really want to drink all that much Amarone. You can give me one of the world's great Amarone and I'll score it 19 points out of 20. And then you'll give me a Premier Cru Chablis, which I'll score 17 and a half points out of 20. Uh -huh. But I'll prefer to drink the Chablis. If you have to pay for the Chablis and if the Amarone is free. No, that I don't know. <laughs> That's a different issue. It depends on how rich you are at the time. <laughs> right. So wine number one. This one is obvious. If it's that obvious, it's not fun. The high quality wines mm -hmm. should be obvious. That's a different looking guy. Uh-huh. The color is totally different, right? Mm -hmm. So four wines are ready. Cheers, Peter. <laughs> Cheers, Jay. Cheers, Cheers guys. Are these way better than Tubak Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't watched the two dollar wines. <laughs> these are a little better than Tubak Chuck. <laughs> yeah. Please refer to the link but here. If you prefer Tubak Chuck, all that means is you're a cheap date. Uh -huh. Everybody loves a cheap date. Then you can save some money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's one of the problems of watching what we do. Because when you first start watching us, you might love two buck chuck mm. and unfortunately by the time you finish watching us you're gonna hate it <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna want to spend a lot more money and you may not have it right and i know what that feels like that's all the real wine guys problem <laughs> exactly <laughs> that's the reason why we need you to to do what <laughs> if they don't subscribe to this, they're missing us exercising our passion. We ruin our livers so that you don't have to ruin yours. We ruin our livers with great pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. On the plus side, we're loving what we do. On the negative side, we have to get through this fast because we don't have long to live. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Let's talk about the wine's quality first. Okay, they're all good. They're all good. They're all good uh -huh. to very good. And uh, what made you think so? There's a level in them, for the most part, mm -hmm. of some kind of brooding character. Brooding? It's brooding, yeah. Some kind of character which says, don't rush me. I'm not a cheap dad. I'm not one of those people who boogies, you take them out they, and they rip their clothes off and boogie on the first night. Mm -hmm. You want to get to know me? Need to be a little bit more serious. These are good ones. I gave the least point for yeah, number too. four yeah. and the best point for number, number two. two. So we're the same with that. Uh -huh. And so that, that to me is always our most important, mm -hmm. is to know quality. Then uh, shall we talk about the wines one by one? Sure. What do you think about the wine number one? When I first nosed it, I thought it was Bordeaux. 
That was before I even tasted it. I thought it was Bordeaux. Uh huh. On the palate, it's tight, focused, very minerally entry. And I love the minerality. Mm -hmm. okay? The minerality for me is a very important part of the overall character of a wine. You certainly don't get it on very cheap wines. Tasting this nice wine, your explanation sounds like a beautiful song to me. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear it. It's and? a little bit breathless. It's slightly reduced. Mm -hmm. So it needs some time in the glass to develop. Very big tannin. The tannins are good tannins. The wine is slightly high in alcohol. Yeah. I do think it's Bordeaux varieties. And You're I'm going right. to go with Bordeaux on this one. Do we move to number two? Yes. Here there was sweetness here. Uh -huh. And to me, a very focused black currant character. Mm -hmm. Cabernet character to me on this one. It's got alcohol, but it's got minerality, beautiful upfront fruit, great balance. It's much more forthcoming than the first one. It's very heavy. It's, but it's big. It's round at yeah, the same time. It's, it's lovely. It's bold, but at the same time, it's so round. Yeah. It could also be a Bordeaux, but from a different part of Bordeaux than this one. So you think uh, wine number two is Bordeaux grape varieties? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then. Change of pace here on wine number three. <laughs> this is a serious change of pace here. Completely different color, completely different character to the wine. I'm going to taste it again because there's something about this I really like. <laughs> I had to go to Italy for this wine. Uh -huh. Eventually, do you like this or not? I like it uh -huh. very much. And then wine number four? To me, this is another old world wine. You're right. Yeah, Bordeaux varieties again, mm -hmm. but less good than those two. You're correct. This one also is from Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Yeah. yeah. It's a good place to make wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very good place to make wine. These four wines are all from the same vintage. All from the same vintage. Yeah. And they are all from very similar price range. Wow. So nothing older than 2015. You're correct. 16 or 18. What did you say? 16 or 18. Yep. And they're all the same vintage. Mm hmm It's a beautiful one. It's a beautiful wine, what can I say? <laughs> Which one? Uh, wine number three? Number three. It's a beautiful <laughs> wine, I just don't know what it is. <laughs> you just finished the wine number three. Yeah, you can pour me some. It's a beautiful wine. Actually, today I poured enough quantity you did. You did. <laughs> to give you impression of cheap wines. Yeah, no, no, that's not cheap wine. <laughs> All right. That is a beautiful wine. It always takes some time we, to make we, them breathe. Good wines. For, for right? the really good wines. Yeah. yeah. And even if they've been breathing for a few hours, when you put them in the glass, you knock them out again. Mm -hmm. And you have to wait again. Yeah. I really enjoy this this processing. Yeah. The <laughs> wines grow in the glass. It's, it's why glassware is so important. Uh -huh. And why spending so much time with us is so important. <laughs> right. So we're obviously in Tuscany. The tannin is really dry and yeah, it, it's very no, tannic I'm, I'm used to that being tannin. I mean, I love this wine, but it's a little too red for me. So, but, so we got to go then with Montalcino, Brunello, uh -huh. or Sangiovese, so uh, Chianti Reserva. We'll see later. Okay. okay. So, have you decided? Yeah. Which one shows the best quality among these? Number two. Number two. And which one is your favorite wine? It's a toss-up between two and three. All right. How about you? Number two shows the best quality for me. And for personal preference, I don't want to say this, but it's exactly the same with your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes our viewers say like, Jay, don't you have any other opinion That's right. about yeah. the wine? Are you He's completely <laughs> brainwashed, right? <laughs> hey, guys. I promise you, we do this blind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this wouldn't be the first time I've mixed up Sangiovese with Nebbiolo. Nebbiolo. Colors are very similar. Tannin on both is high. Uh -huh. There's something different about the tannins on Nebbiolo, and I, I didn't get it here. Mm -hmm. It's a sort of more powdery kind of tannin. And Nebbiolo is a unique kind of tannin. This one's tannin is really high too. Yeah, exactly. it's but, but perhaps it's not that quite the same tannin. I don't know what it is. I'll take two cases. <laughs> <laughs> it's your wine number three and a wine number two. 
Yeah, a case. <laughs> Meaning you prefer wine number three to wine so number two. That's another interesting, I'm glad you asked that. It's uh -huh. another very interesting consideration. How do you judge the best wine? Uh -huh. I want to drink a glass, two glasses, mm -hmm. half a bottle of that. I want to drink two cases of this. <laughs> so it comes down to in the end, I always ask myself, not which bottle do I want to drink the first glass, uh -huh. which bottle do I want to drink the last glass, uh -huh. meaning which bottle do I want to start at the beginning and finish at the end and nobody else gets any. And uh, which one is it among these four? <laughs> okay, wine number three. So this one is your favorite? No. No? No. <laughs> number two is my favorite. Uh -huh. But this is my friend. <laughs> What is this it? is the one I want to hang out with. <laughs> this one I'm in awe of. I have to tiptoe around. I have to be on my best behavior. Uh -huh. I have to show my best manners. This one, I can wear a skirt uh -huh. and no top uh -huh. and hang out by my swimming pool and just make sure I'm eating really great quality food because the wine deserves it. Okay. Is that too weird? No, that was an incredible compliment for the wine. Okay, so shall we see what they are? Let's do it. So much fun. No Petrus in here. <laughs> no Petrus in here. <laughs> I live in hope. I told you the price range is the same oh, for okay. these four. <laughs> okay, so no Petrus in here. No right. Petrus. But there, these are pretty good wines. No, these are good wines. All right, so wine number one. Chateau Talbot 2016. Saint Julien 2016. Very, very good. Yeah. And the second wine. Oh, I can feel the bottle. It must be Chateau Montbusquet. Wow. Chateau Montbusquet, Saint Emilion Grand Cru Classé 2016. So this showed the best quality. Right. Among these four, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And wine number three. This is your friend. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Le Ragnaie. And every year I would say, these guys are the best. Le Ragnaie is this lean, friggin' awesome one. Brunello di Montalcino, 2016. And then, wine number four. Chateau Lagrange, Saint Julien, 2016. You put in so much effort and energy in selecting these wines, so much time. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I'm amazed at it, Jay. I mean, the commitment that you make, because I just think how, how long it would take me to do this. Uh -huh. Maybe you're just super efficient at it, but... Not very super efficient, but I struggle much. <laughs> what an awesome tasting. <laughs> and they're all from 2016. Yeah, which is the great vintage. But now we talked about personal preference. You see, Le Ragnaie makes austere wine. Mm -hmm. My kind of wine. <laughs> This one's tan is super dry. Yeah, they yeah. make my kind of wine. With my late friend Lionel, we love the Ranchi. <laughs> you can't even get in to taste with them unless you know somebody. You told me. Once. You didn't come with me? No. <laughs> you didn't pay enough. <laughs> I pay you with wine. <laughs> <laughs> once you told me this wine, Le Ragnaie, this is really hard to pronounce. Le Ragnaie is one of your favorite Sangiovese wines. So I remembered it. You have a diabolical memory. <laughs> Did you enjoy our tasting? Give us some likes, some loves, subscribe. We've enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, very much. Actually, we've always talked about quality first. Then when the quality gets very similar to one another, then we talked about our personal preference. So I wanted to make sure the quality and the personal preference, they are very different. You should uh, differentiate. I, I think you're right. I always try very hard, but it's really, really difficult to make our viewers to get to know the quality and the personal preference are different. Can you give us uh, some advice to our viewers? You may have a sweet tooth. One day you may just feel like chip candy. Mm. You know it's not the best. You just know that's what you feel like at the time. As professionals, it's difficult for us because we find this stress, the strain of saying that's the best one but i like it less than i like something else mm -hmm. and we, we shouldn't worry about that you have to concentrate really hard and think a lot about which is the best one once you've been through that exercise reward yourself drink the wine you like the most and don't feel guilty about it mm -hmm. 
because the tasting is over the learning is over just relax with the wine that suits you at that moment yeah yeah we nothing wrong with that we as professionals we suffer this much every day for you yeah. but you don't need to suffer yeah today we suffered too <laughs> i want you really to feel sorry for me we suffered through 2016 class growth bordeaux 2016 class growth bordeaux 2016 brunello di montalcino and 2016 class growth bordeaux now this is real suffering and you need to be sorry for me <laughs> i'm sorry peter <laughs> 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 if you want to learn about wine seriously from Peter and me, please click on the join button right next to the subscription box. Then click on wine class join button. This is way better than any other wine school in the world. A new wine class video is uploaded once every week and we also do a wine class on live streaming once a month. If you don't like it, you can cancel it anytime.